Oh, I gotta love construction. En route to pick up my brother-in-law, who's my shuttle driver, and then off to Larger Lake we go. All right, we are leaving my shuttle driver. It's always that eerie feeling watching your truck leave. <laughs> yeah. We're leaving Larder Lake. I will cross the lake. From the town of Larder Lake. We're gonna head across the lake and down the lake. down the Larder River before tonight. That is the goal. Beautiful sunny day. 24 degrees Celsius I think it was. Light wind blowing. There's supposed to only be 9k winds today, but it's a little quicker than that. That's okay. We'll be fine. Stay tough. Don't fall in. We're passing an island. Well, the island right in front of us here. After that, we get into the narrows. I just noticed the marker off to the left here. That white marker out there, there's a pile of rocks right there. And uh, years back, my buddy Dean and I we were fishing this lake. We must have caught about 10 bass off of that marker. Just because of the big pile of rocks there, and they were all hanging out cast after cast. We were pulling them in. I'm not even fishing yet. Maybe I should be. But because I got a late start to the day, I thought I'd just try and motor across. So that's it. It's uh, 1 o'clock now. I left just after 12.30 from the launch. So we're making decent time. Calm on this end of the lake. Just approaching the narrows right here. Waves are from a boat that just went by. It went nice and wide around me, which was nice of them. Some of these motor boats don't don't do that kind of consideration. They'll just about swamp you with their waves, but most are pretty good. Just realized the one thing I forgot in the truck is Tucker's leash. But I do have lots of extra rope, so I can just use rope if I have to tie him for any reason. But yeah. I was thinking as I left, I'm like, I kind of feel like I'm forgetting something. I got all the main necessities the tent, the sleeping bag. The air mattress or the sleeping pad I guess it's not an air mattress it kind of is in a way a sleeping pad I got a tarp I got a ton of food to last a whole week so I think we'll be good through the narrows. Right here is the narrows that we're going through. And now we're pointing straight down the lake. Heading south down to the river. That is the game plan. More motorboats down here. 
Dealt with a couple of waves, nothing too serious so far. Beautiful day to be paddling this lake. The only thing I was worried about is high winds. You would have had some white caps out here. Wouldn't have been fun. Yeah, slow right down, buddy. So that's the worst thing you can do in a motorboat. A lot of people are like, oh, there's a canoeer. I'll slow right down. Well, by slowing down, he's causing a huge wave. Not bad in this boat. This thing can handle white caps. So I know that because I've been in them. It's the loon again right beside us. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I just dunked my hat in the water to try and cool off a little. I am dripping sweat. Because it is hot in that sun. Tucker's hot too. We go around this point and then we start making our way down the river. So soon enough, Tuck. Well, you will be getting out the portage around the dam. <sighs> Pontoon pulling a tuber. That's cool. Oh, fish on, I think. Oh. Yep. Yeah. We got a fish on top. Fighting too. We definitely got a fish. I don't know, I didn't bring a net or anything. Feels like a pike or a bass. <laughs> So long since I caught a fish, I forgot what it felt like. <laughs> oh, nice big bass. Look at the size of that guy. Whew. No top. Oh, look at the size of that. Get the other hook in me. Hey. Jeepers. Easy. Easy. Well, maybe I'll just hold it up so everybody can see. So I'm just going to do a little flip of the wrist here and he's going to be gone. There he goes. Awesome. Awesome. That was like a four pounder, easy. I can't believe it, Tuck. All we caught was one fish. I'm saying I can't believe is we made it to the river. The larder river. Got one fish, so we're good. We're gonna paddle down to the dam. Getting a little hungry. I might make something small to eat. Hunt the dam because we got a portage around it. And once we get down to 
Raven Lake. Plan to camp along there somewhere. At that point, I'll make supper. Fish on. I just casted the line back out and all of a sudden fish it. I was just getting a snack. I don't know what it is. Tuck, get out of the camera. Woo! He's just a tiny guy. <laughs> another bass? Yeah. Yeah, another bass. Whoa! Yeah, I'll let him tire out a little. Tuck, you can't have him. Bag to get snacks. Tuck, no. There you go. Definitely is pretty up in here. And running water ahead, which means we get close to the dam. Well, I definitely see the dam. <laughs> figure out where the portage is. Come to the right because it looks different from over here. I think it's to the right. I'm not sure. We will have to find it. So I'm assuming this is a trail right here. I see another kind of trail on the other side. But I definitely see a trail right in front of us with a little opening here. So I'm assuming this is it. We'll find out. I need to stretch my legs anyway. All right, that was the easiest way to do it. Pull everything up onto the dock. Where are you going? A little wet? <laughs> How far are we gonna have to portage? Far enough, I'm saying. <laughs> Just, Just wanna stretch my legs a little bit anyway. I am soaked in my life jacket. Oh, nice little campsite here. The dam is flowing pretty good. Larder dam. I see a pool just down there. Assuming that's where you put back in. We gotta find a trail that'll look pretty growing in. Maybe it's down this way. Yeah, looks like it kind of sort of goes through there. I saw another beaten path around up here. And try and check that out. Blueberry bushes. They're not ripe yet though. We'll see. Saw another trail. Here a boat. Oh yeah, motorboat. Came up and turned around. Alright, there's another kind of trail here. It came up off the lake. I don't know, Tuck. I don't know, this is. I think the other way is better. 
by far. Oh yeah. So we ain't going anywhere. Although it looks like blaze marks, so <laughs> nobody's been through here in a while, I see. Okay, we'll go down the other way. The water is right there, so but the other trail looks a little better. We'll do that one. Alright. One last trip with the canoe. Feels light compared to all the bags. Thank you, Swift. <laughs> when your canoe is the easiest thing to portage. It's a good day. <laughs> I actually triple carried. Because I had just a few too many bags. I thought I uh, could probably do it in two trips, but why? It's not that long of a portage. So this is a trail, believe it or not. I think a few more people need to come here and start doing tricks. Oh. And pack this trail down. Because it is highly overgrown. This is really dangerous right here. Uh, okay. This is the best trail there was. <laughs> Everything else is way too tall. We're going the right way. And then the water's so high that it's trickling into here. It's a little swampy. Portage. I don't know what we're going to get into up here. I'm going to have to just line it down the side or something. We'll see. See when we get up here. That was one of the most grueling, shortest portages ever. It was like a class two right here behind me. It's a little more than my experience level. So I went to the bush, but there's no trail. So we're gonna try and run this without dying. It looks like about class one. Again, I don't have any experience in rapids, but I think it doesn't look that bad. So, let's give it a whirl. So we can get on this log. Okay. okay, hold on, Tom. down there. Well that was interesting. I definitely hit a few rocks there. 
That's the biggest rapid I've hit. Oh, now what do we got? Oh. Okay, it looks like we got another big class two there. That was fun coming over that bump and grind. But I saw these logs and I'm like, you know, they're nice and slippery. I'm just gonna pull it around this way. And then we're into another pool, so we should be good. Whew, what a day. Holy cow. Yeah, I didn't want to run that because it goes straight into the, the wall. I'm going to slam into that and spin around. So I saw a bunch of painted rocks along here. Where other canoers did the exact same thing I did. Holy, I'm out of breath. Hopefully we can relax and paddle for a little bit now. But I know somewhere just up here, it drops over Raven Falls. That's the next big portage. These swifts and class ones I can handle. <laughs> For those class twos, no. I told myself before leaving, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm out here solo. If something goes wrong, it's gonna go horribly wrong. I do have my in reach with me though, but. Even that, it's going to take them a while to get to me. So we're not taking any unnecessary risk. <sighs> it was almost getting to the point where I wasn't having fun anymore. <laughs> it's that type 2 fun year. Tonight I'll be laughing about it and lying in the tent. Don't fall in, Tuck. They will be laughing about it in the tent tonight, I'm sure. Oh, those logs wasn't bad. It was going through that bush. There's like just solid trees. I had to break a couple out of the way just to get the canoe through. Just so quiet up here. Six PM, Tucker. Thank God we're almost there. Another kilometer or so according to my map. We'll be at Raven Falls. And then I think the bottom of Raven Falls. I'm gonna try and find a campsite there. Or make one. <laughs> Hoping to be at the campsite by 6 p.m., but maybe by 7. <laughs> maybe. You know, because we gotta go over the first set of falls and through a little pool and down the second. It could be 8 o'clock by the time we get there. Maybe I shouldn't have left at noon hour. Well, 12.30 I think it was, I left. I'm paddling six hours. Almost six hours, five and a half hours. Almost thinking I should have had supper though on the that dock at the dam. <laughs> But then I would have been too tired and all relaxed and they're like, ah, oh, let's just camp here. <laughs> Alright. I don't know which 
sounds big. I don't know which way we go for the portage. It disappears into a hole somewhere down there. Wowee! Yeah, you don't want to run that. Whew! I just don't know how we get down though. But look at the view. Wow! I didn't even see a portage marker or anything in there. The water's high, so I don't know. We gotta get over this falls and then go across that bay over there, and then there's another drop like this. Get up here, talk. Hey, get up here. You get washed away in that current, you're a goner. All right, I'm gonna try and find. I think the video I watched, they went down the side of the rock, but that's when the water was low. They had low water. I got high water. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. I don't know. All right, so after scouting around a little bit. I found a path, it does go over that rock, it's a little sketch right here because you got to go through the water right above the major falls, so don't wipe out, it's shallow though and I got grippy water shoes so I walked over to it and you can walk down the rock on that side, that's the only option I had, I tried to go over here, I found like an old campsite, it was up in there but it's completely overgrown, there's no trail to it. Tucker, get back! Come on! You're way too close, buddy. You go in that water and you ain't coming back. You're gonna have to watch Tucker going over here too. He didn't like doing it the first time. Hey! Don't be a dumbass. All right, so that's our way down. I'm gonna bring a load of the bags down first. See if I can try and do it in a double carry. I don't know. It's gonna be tight, but we'll try. All right. So I've done it in stages. I got the bags across to the top. I'll have to come back and get Tucker because he's too scared to go over here, which fine by me. This is the sketchy part. Cause like right here is the falls so you don't want to wipe out. These very slippery rocks. So it wouldn't be a fun uh, it wouldn't be a fun trip that's for sure. Alright, so look at the view here, there's the jungle, <laughs> look at that, unbelievable, 709 we got maybe an hour before it's dark we gotta get across that pool there where that rock is and down the other side. I think the left hand side is where the, I think. Right hand side here. Come on, we gotta, oof, I'm so tired. So we gotta put in down here.
<sighs> yeah, let's do it. Go back in this little pool, go across this rock, and then down here to a campsite. I hope. Not go over the falls. rock and I'll jump up. All right, that was one hell of a day. Um, the bugs are really coming out now. The black flies and mosquitoes. Got my new tent all set up. This patch of real estate looked uh, pretty inviting. Bottom of the falls. Oh, I am so tired. I just wanted to get this set up before dark. And uh, now I'm going to get some food rehydrating and cook that up real quick. Maybe I'll just use my uh, jet boil to rehydrate it a lot quicker. I am just so tired. Next time, if any of my friends hear me say I want to do this solo, try and talk me out of it. But look at the views. The views have been breathtaking. A lot of type 2 fun, I guess they call it. I wasn't having fun in a few spots. Uh, the rapids were a little too big for my liking. I had to use a lot of portage. And... Yeah, I just ate a black fly. Alright. Yeah. Just get some supper on the go here and get ready to call it a night. So, dinner's pretty much done. I'm gonna eat all of that. I'm starving. Dehydrated, I'm gonna drink a whole bunch of water. It was a really rough day. But man, look at the views. Couldn't ask for a nicer campsite. And I'm on a big bed of moss, so I'm not even gonna blow up my air mattress or my sleeping bed tonight as I crawled in there and as you see Tucker's already sleeping he is wiped out what a day just one tuckered out dog <laughs> and the bugs were getting bad normally I despise eating inside a tent but I'm doing it just because we'll fight off bears, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, I am so tired. I'm just going to eat my dinner. Then I'll clean everything up and do the dishes so nothing stinks in there. Get rid of the food. All the food's outside. But just this. Sent a in-reach message to my sister. Told her that camp was set up here for the night, and I just keep killing mosquitoes in here. All right. Good night.
down to my tent. Pretty cool. Oh, my God. 